Hey guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be copying and recreating my own version of Vogue Beauty Secrets. As someone who literally lives off of these videos, I love them so much. I watch them like multiple times a day. Let's get started. Hey guys and my name is Amelia Godi and I'm going to be showing you how to get the flawless glowy makeup look. So you always start off by prepping your skin but before I prep my skin I put my headband on. I do have a really cute pink one but I've lost that so at the moment I'm going to just be using this really like basic kids skin one just to keep my hair out of my face so I don't get any products on it. So now I've got my hair back out of my face so I don't get any product on it I'm going to show you the skin prep I use to prep my skin for putting my makeup on. So I'm going to be starting off with the Ordinary Serum Lactic Acid 10% looks like that there's barely any left so I'm going to have to try and make this work. So I have just got a mirror to the side so I will be looking at the mirror to the side of me. I actually cannot get any of this out. There we go. So I just put this all over my face and then just evenly spread it in and rub it in. The serum is so hydrating and it keeps my face like shiny like for the whole day my skin is really bad at the moment and i don't know why so i'm not going to be putting too much on just because i don't want to flare it up after that i'm going to be using this which is because my skin's really bad so i have to use like special lotion so this is just to keep it hydrated because at the moment it dries out so quick so i'm just going to put this all over my face and also on your neck when you're doing your makeup and skincare also make sure to do your neck or just like put a bit down your neck so then it's like evened out and then i just rub this all in on my face i put quite a thick amount of this on just so i can like have it soak in like last for the whole day and then just rub it in now that is all rubbed in i'm going to use some of the glossier priming moisturizer just to obviously prime my face before i start applying any makeup products Usually I do do a lot more skin prep, but because at the moment my skin is really sensitive, I can't use all my products, else it makes it flare up. So I'm just using a couple. This moisturiser makes my makeup last the whole day, and it's got really firm grip, it's amazing. And it's moisturising at the same time. Now that's all rubbed in, I'm now going to use a face mist. I have got quite a lot of face mist, but today I think I'm going to go with this one. This is the Boots Glow Brightening Serum, just because I do really like this one. So I just obviously spray on my face and then I do dab it in just because obviously it's not a very accurate shot and like this one sprays out really weirdly so I dab it everywhere just to make sure it's gone all over my face. Now that is my skin prep done I'm now going to be moving on to my actual makeup. So here's my makeup bag and all my products in it so I will show you what I do. So when doing my makeup I always start off with my eyelashes and my eyebrows so ignore the state of this this is just like it's not even very old but it's a clear was it a clear mascara which is no longer very clear but what i do is i just use this to brush my brows upwards just brush up and then we go down and along on either side and then i obviously do the same on this side i'm going to look in the mirror for this once that is done i then just use this as one layer on each of my lashes so top and bottom on both sides just I do often curl my lashes so I think I'm going to curl them today but I don't curl them every day as my lashes are generally like quite naturally curled so like when I do curl them it doesn't really make a difference but I just like curling them anyway. Now that I have done my clear mascara on both my lashes I'm now going to be curling them. This is the colour I use, I use the Dior eyelash colour and it's just so gentle and soft on my eyelashes and just it's just so amazing. I just hold this down for about 10 seconds on the other side as well and then use this clear mascara again just to brush them out because sometimes often when I curl them they can clump together for a bit which is really weird but they do so there we go now that it's all done I'm now going to move on to my mascara so I use two mascaras I use sky high and great lash and I always start with sky high first just because I prefer this one on the bottom so I do one layer of sky high on each of my eyelashes. I love Sky High because it's just, it gives so much length to my eyelashes. Like, it's literally like it grows them. It's so cool. And then I do same on bottom lashes as well. 
Now I have used Sky High. I am then going to go in with Great Lash. Great Lash is so good. I don't know what it is about it, but it makes my eyelashes look so nice. I absolutely love it. I will not go a day without using this one. Like, I have to. I have to use this pair for my eyelashes every day. You can already see the difference that has made. Like, it's crazy. And then she the same on this side. As you can see, they're like, there is some, obviously, mascara on my eyelids. And also, my eyelids are really puffy because of my skin at the moment. But I will obviously wash the mascara off at the end. Next thing I use is the Revolution Eye Bright Under Eye Concealer in that shade but i don't use this as concealer because this is a really good dupe for the shadow that's be contour but they didn't have the right shade so i got a shade lighter than i wanted so it works as contour but it's more like orangey so i'm just gonna what i do so i just dot this i do four dots and then i obviously double up because yeah and then i do four dots on this side as well and I also use this on my nose, so I go round like that, and then from the eyebrow, down, and then do the same on this side. Obviously this is more like a lighter contour than the dark one, but they didn't have the dark one in stock, so I just got this one because I really wanted it. Now I blend this in with a beauty blender. I have separate beauty blenders for different products. This is my like contour beauty blender, I guess. But this is my beauty blender that I use <clears throat> for any foundation, contour, stuff like that that's not got any like glitter or stuff in it. But yeah, so I just blend this in. My brace is really jingly. I seriously think it gives such a good effect, even though it's not even the right one. So I think if I got the right one, if I had the right one in stock, it would be so much better. But Charlotte Shelby Contour is always out of stock. So I just thought I'm not gonna get it anytime soon, so I'll just get this for now. But yeah, like, look at that, amazing. Then obviously you gotta blend it in on my nose. That is that done. The next thing I got is another Charlotte Tilbury dupe because I've wanted the trio set. It's never in stock, so I was in Primark the other day and they had the Charlotte Tilbury dupe of the blush and I got it and it's so good. So I also do the same with this, but I do three dots of this instead of four. I just go one two three and then just same on this side and then just do one dot on my nose just fill that gap in this is probably one of the best blushes i've ever had because i only ever really use these like powder blushes but this is the best cream blush ever like i've tested some and it's so good it's so pigmented and so glittery and just obviously such a pretty color separate beauty blender for this so i use this older one which has glitter on it and then i just blend upwards because I think blending upwards does have an effect. I don't know what it is, but it does have an effect. And then obviously on my nose, I just dot it around on my nose. Now that is done, I'm now going to be using this, which is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil, which I don't use on my eye. I use it as highlighter. So I go like up and along my nose, just like that. And then I dot on the end. And then I also do in the inner corners of my eyes. This just gives a more pop a bit of pop a bit of like shine the last thing i use is this this is a liquid highlighter from boots number 17 and then i love the color of this so i just put literally like a tiny little bit like that much on my finger which is way too much and i just go where i'd put highlighter literally a tiny dot like that on either side i just use my finger to dab and blend it in a bit. That to swipe it and do the same on this side. I'm so nearly done. Obviously, you can also always add a base to this, but I don't like using um, foundation. Like, I just don't really like it. And obviously, my skin's not great at the moment, so I don't want to put it all over my face. But it does give a really, like, it's so glowy. It gives such a flawless look. It's just amazing. Last but not least is I use this lip liner from Primark again and I just overline my lips. This isn't the shade I wanted because when I got it in the shop it looked different and I think it's because of the lighting and I got home and it was like purple but it's so cute. And then 
I do have this in a pink colour as well, but I quite like this one. I just think it's so nice. And then this lip oil is so good. It's so hydrating and it just lasts for ages. Like if you're looking for a lip oil that's hydrating and looks so glossy, this one's the one. So this isn't to do with makeup, but I always, always, always use my Sol de Janeiro 62 spray. This is pistachio and salted caramel and it smells incredible. And I like, look how close I'm to running out. So I'm definitely going to be repatching that. That is a definite repatch, yes. Now we have to sort this out. And that is how I achieve a glowy, flawless, clean girl makeup look. I hope you've enjoyed my recreation of Vogue Beauty Secrets. If you have, make sure to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure to comment with what videos you want to see because I definitely want to be posting a lot more and I want to post content that you guys like want to see. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Love you. Bye.